Hey, what's up guys? This is Electric Fury. Welcome back to A Hat in Time. Today we're going to carry on exploring the ever-confusing free roam mission of Alpine Skyline. I have decided I'm going to leave the Purple Rift for later, when I've played through the missions and I get the story. Um, leave the extra two bits I missed there and fully read the story when I do that. But basically, this chapter confuses me, because we can go anywhere we want to go. And I don't like the freedom. <laughs> um, just looking around, I mean, we have completely open choice, but I think the area I'm going to go to first is this green one. Purely because it's the first one, like, around me. I guess the blue could be considered the same way. But I think that area looks more interesting, so I want to save it towards the end. So I'm going to go to this area first, as it's right here. Um, I don't know how long the areas are going to be. If they're quick, then I'll go to that area, the yellow one, as well. But for now, I'm going to just start with green. Well, I've realized I'm actually not in the right place. The green thing is clearly higher up than where I am. I forgot that that doesn't help at all. Can I stop sliding? I'd rather just... Thank you. Right. Um, I guess we'll find a different way up. Hey, badge collector. What? Really? Okay. The Twilight Bell. Right, this is where we're heading. So let's just... Do it. Right. The Twilight Path. I'm guessing the path to the Twilight Bell makes sense. Okay, so the music's changing slowly. That's interesting. These flowers are interesting. Whoa, I very nearly just killed myself. I guess this area is probably going to revolve around the Dweller Mask a lot. Okay. I mean, with the name Twilight Path, it makes sense to be related to the Subcon Forest, really. Okay, thank you, goat lady. Nothing around here. I don't even know if there are yarns in this area besides the one I got. But if I get one more yarn, I'll be able to create a new hat. And that would be lovely. Because it might help us to deal with those enemies we found in the last one that I really didn't understand. Okay, where's the bell and where's not the bell? Okay, the bell's further that way because I want to go... I want to obviously do the side path first, so I'm not backtracking to it. What is this? Rift token. Okay, it's not yarn, but it, it's something. Right. Okay, this one gives us a bell. Because we're going to need it, because if I was trying to do that with my masks timer, I would really not have much time. <laughs> okay. Another grapple. Let's just look around, just for a second. There's a little burger. Why is there a little burger here? Does this mean anything? No. Of course it doesn't. Alright, let's go. <sighs> oh, I missed all of those. I thought for a second you were supposed to aim to hit the ponds, but it seems like I miss more when I aim. I mean, my little magnet pin thing for my hats help, really, because they just come to me anyway. The Twilight Battle, that's a big, like, opening. Oh, wow. Oh, the badge collector's here. What? Why? It's just the same stuff. I guess I'll have to buy this eventually. Actually, I have a lot of ponds. Fine, I'll buy this just to make something new appear next time I find them. Oh, 
There's no reason to hoard ponds, really. Okay, that doesn't... Oh, it does auto-equip. What did I have here? The magnet. Yeah. I'm gonna re-equip this for now. Look at that thing. If only I could reach it. You're a different colour to everyone else. Right. These are those purple flowers they were on about. I mean, I can just grab this. Is this a boss fight? This feels like it's a boss fight. Oh! Oh, wow. There is time rip pieces here. Also, the noise the bell made after I rang it, like the final, like, cooldown noise almost, was almost the same noise that played every time. If you remember ages ago, the really scary manner. I can't even remember her name, but the massive demon woman that would come in and it would play this really awfully loud noise. It was the same sound as that, but in the tone of the bell. What? Wait, what? Can I not hit that? Do I need to... Wait, what? Okay, so there's solids. Oh, that bell is messing up the rest of it. It's like an anti-bell. Okay. Interesting. What is this? Can I climb? Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> um... Oh, it's like those raccoon enemies, but also Twilight. Weird. I guess every area is going to make use of a different hat, then. Because I originally thought every area would be themed after another level of the game. And it could still be that, because this would very easily be Subcon Forest. But I think it more seems to fit with different hats. But I, I could be completely wrong about that. So, this cancels both purple and green. Oh, and they move now. Oh, that's, that's a cool concept. Never thought about like that being a hazard to you. I want to do that myself, I believe. Yes, yarn. We can make time stop yarn now. Yeah, we can stitch the hat. Uh, wait, what? All right. Here we go. It's been a while since we've seen this animation. Time stop. Wait, what? That's not a hat. <laughs> it's like a headband. Death is inevitable. Your time is valuable. Press L T to slow time. Oh wow! Look at her. Okay, so how does this work? Wait, what? Why does it say death is inevitable? <laughs> and what do I do with this hat? So they all slow down. And I turn like evil. Yeah, so apparently, according to my friend who's played and beaten the game way before I even started playing it. Um, that time stop hat was meant to be way back at the start of this playthrough when I did the racing mission in Mafia Town. That was what I was meant to be using. <laughs> but I just cheesed it and used the scooter. Oh, no! If the red thing didn't come back, that would have been such a, like, oh, that would have been a cool save. Like, I saved myself, and then it just ruined it. <laughs> but yeah, that time stop hat. I'm probably meant to use the time stop hat here too. Because that guy's moving really quickly. Let's try it. Looks really interesting with the, the in the little thing. I don't really know why it's got this mask hanging off of it. It could completely just be that tiny bit. 
Oh no, no, that's bad. Okay, that's not the answer because then I wouldn't be able to stand on the bridge. I think the answer is I just need to be patient and just time it perfectly with the Dweller Mask. And by perfectly, I mean right now. Not right now. Okay. This is more difficult than I thought. I'm not really sure if I'm doing this right. I don't know where else I'd go, though. Like, that is definitely the way to go. There's something up there, at least. A key. Oh, I know where that goes. That was in there. Hmm. Okay. New plan. Rather than when he's at the end, get it when he's going past me. And then, yes! Okay. That was really tight timing. Oh, not two of them. Uh... Uh, this time I can use the time stop hat. Because I'm not making the floor. Haha! -ha. Success. Now I just need to get the key back all the way. I'm assuming if I die I still have it, but I'm not certain about that fact. Okay. That seems like a permanent bell too, unlike the ones in Subcon. Checkpoint? Hold on, what was the other way? Was it just two ways to get a key? Like it was optional? Or is that entire path something itself? Looks like we're back to using Dweller Mask. Ooh, I messed that up, but I saved it. Okay. We're good, we're good. There's another raccoon here. Hello. Weird. Hey. You wanna... Oh, they, they just don't, unless you're... Yeah. Oh, no. No! Okay, there we go. They're not really enemies, are they? They're just... You're just kind of murdering them. What is that guy doing? Um... Okay, so the thing's up there. But what is all of this? Like, why are we here? I think the time stop hat might be useful for this. But I'm going to keep the Dweller Mask so I can save myself if need be. Oh, it might be necessary, actually. I think the time start hat is what you need, actually. Almost guaranteed there. Which makes me think that that path is some kind of secret unlockable, because not everyone would have the time stop hat. I was lucky that I only needed one. So hopefully if I do this quick enough, and now I get my Dweller Mask. Why? <laughs> oh, it's so close. Come on. Oh, no, need to do this myself. Hello. Oh, I was incredibly close on that. Maybe that stamina badge after all might help. I have to be more patient at this bit. I keep just going and it's not not working. Right, so this... Let's stick this on. Reduces the cooldown. Okay, I'll use the button inputs rather than the wheel as well. Right, let's go. And now... And now... 
No, I timed it wrong because I was trying to do it with my hand. Ugh. I had to move my hand off of the stick to do the D-pad to, like, change the hat. So I used my other hand and then it messed me up jump-wise and... Ugh. Okay. That is such a small look all down. Okay. I know I can make it. I just need to think about this. Is there a better way to be doing this? There must be. Maybe if I stop time right as I hit the bell? No, I don't see how that would help me. Yes, here we go. We've got plenty more time now. Right. So the horn makes a new area, but I need to do it whilst in this. What does that do? Oh. A new path. Maybe that was necessary? In order to actually reach the um, timepiece. Well, yeah, because the other way only gets you the key. And this way doesn't at all. So that has to be... Yeah. That's what it must be. You would get all the way here and not be able to pass if you hadn't done what I just did. Why'd I do that? Wait, no, I was meant to do that. Just meant to be quick. That's weird. Okay, more yarn. More ponds. Do I even need to go down at all? Or is that like a punishment area? Hmm. Yes, I do, because I need a key. Those flowers aren't anything. It was glowing, so it confused me. Made me think it might be something. Okay, key is here. The negative bell is here. Can't I just... No. So, negative bell... Removes this. Ah, that's clever. I like that. Although I need to deactivate it now. Actually, no, let's save those. Just in case. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that even a hole? No, I would have been fine. <sighs> Right. Why aren't you... Okay. Okay, so another bell. What's up? Oh, that's a platform. I think this might need time stop again. Actually, it might not. It's incredibly slow. No, it needs ice. Ah, go. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to have to do it. I mean, I can actually just leave ice on. Right. Go. There we go. All that just for yarn. But yeah, if you don't have time stop hat, then... Because you'd have to have everything else by now. Like, maybe you wouldn't have Dwelly on. But everything else, like, guaranteed you, you should have had by then. What's in here? I've not been here. Nothing? Why is that a thing? 
I'm not sure why that's a thing. Let's just keep going up where we were going to go with this key. Wait, what? Oh, wait. And it falls even further. That's why that's a thing. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, no. Let's go up normally. <laughs> right. Okay, checkpoint. More bell puzzles. Hold on. Isn't this the way? If I can just climb... Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay, so multiple bells make holes. I need to remember that. But for now, it should be okay. No, it won't. Oh, it is a puzzle. I thought they were the ones that shrink, but they don't. Huh. So if I... I need the Dweller Mask, definitely. But I don't think this will be possible without it. I think you need to do this. Then have this one on. No, you don't. No, you don't. You only want this one on. So that you can get up here. And then these guys are a pain, so to kill them. Whoa! What just happened? Oh, actually, dying might help because they stay activated. Because that's part of the issue, transport. Right, and now you just... Yeah, now you just swim. Okay, that was less of a puzzle than I thought it was. Still kind of, but... It was more just use your hat. Oh, okay, that confused me. So yeah, you would have got to here and not been able to do anything if you hadn't done the whole extra area. So it was necessary. Right. The hat, the not the hat, the timepiece is about here. So we're probably done. But let's just have a look at everything. Okay, it won't let me look in front of me for some reason. Okay. No, the hat doesn't affect the, the black areas. I guess that's it. I just need to use my hat as well so that I can open the box. Like, voila! Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So, yeah, I've cleared the Twilight Bell. Awesome. Um. Oh. That didn't seem good. Um. Let's just have a look at that guy, see if he's okay. Have you noticed those bright started appearing recently after some weird hourglasses fell from the sky? Wonder what they could be. Oh yeah, I didn't notice all of those. I really wish they wouldn't be so bright. They're blinding. Did this person always say this? Because I don't remember her saying that before. Hi, are you the one that got sneezed on? Or like, got the thing? I don't think you are. I don't know where that person is. Because I was going to go check out what it meant. But maybe nothing. Maybe it meant nothing. Who knows? I mean, there's one of those plants there, but that wasn't the one. Because it was one that grew, and that one's always been like that. 
I've already broken that, they clearly reset. Yeah, the Twilight Bell, that's where I've just been. Hmm. I don't know where that guy is. I... yeah, I, I don't know. But we pretty much ran out of time now, and we did an entire one of the five areas, so it seems only logical to stop here, really. So, yeah, in the next one, we'll be doing a different one of the five. I guess one of the four that are left now. But, um, yeah, I like this so far. It seems like they're actually just, like, big level levels now, like how the rifts are, but very big. And I like the idea of that. I'm gonna guess that each one is a different hat or a different area we've been to. But that one was almost entirely Dweller Mask with a couple ice platforms, but that's really just platforming. Um, and a bit of the time stop hat. I feel like there has to have been a way around that because not everyone would have that by now. But yeah. It was pretty much entirely Dweller Mask. But that could mean it's the Subcon Forest area, as opposed to the Dweller Mask area, because they're very closely linked. I'm not really sure. It could even be that none of them are actually linked to anything, and they just decided that was a fitting place to use it. Since, you know, the Twilight Bell and all that. But, um, that fire area... I can't really think of a hat that links to that. I was going to guess that that one's probably the ice hat, but now I think about it, it's less water and more like wind. So that, yeah, that doesn't really reflect anything either. I've not really had a good look at the purple place, but the yellow place over here definitely looked a lot like the, um, kind of the aesthetic of the conductor's half of Battle of the Birds. But, uh, oh, here's the purple. I've never been down there, I think. But purple leads over there. That looks like it could maybe be ice. I can't really tell from here. I actually made this jump for once. Oh, that does look kind of icy. I don't know. It also looks kind of watery, so I'm really not sure. I don't know what the purple one is. I don't even see a light on that one, whereas yellow, obviously, in that big cage... Um, there must have been one on the bell, but I don't see it anymore. There was one on, up by the windmill, and one on the top of the volcano there. But yeah, I don't see one for this area, looking on the right of the screen. Because there's kind of a thing in the way. Unless it's linked to the fire one, like they're both the same area, but... Like the top of the mountain's a volcano. I'm not sure! But we're going to come explore one of these areas next time, because they seem about the right length to do one per episode, if they're anything like the Twilight Bell was. But yeah, if you're looking forward to seeing that, then I hope you'll come back and watch those when I post them. I, myself, am looking forward to playing them. So yeah, until next time, goodbye.